Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. This is going to be a reading for Taurus. Taurus, Sun, Moon, Rising and Venus signs. Let's see what is going on mid to late January 2021. Going to get some cards for your energy. Energy of the person, people, situations surrounding you or who you're dealing with and the overall outcome for the rest of the month. It is a general reading, so of course if it doesn't... Um, if it doesn't resonate, feel free to check out your other placements. Um, may not be your story. If it does and you enjoy the reading, don't forget to hit that um, like button. Subscribe to my channel. I really, really appreciate it. Let's see what else. What is going on for Taurus? Possibly a lot of online or virtual communication. We'll see what else comes out, but maybe it's got to do with being away from someone, having to communicate online. There could be a little bit of, um, you know, stalking going on as well. I don't say that in the illegal sense. I mean, so someone's um, someone's looking at you or you're um, looking at someone online. We've got the Three of Cups. Um, Aries got that in that position as well. So you could be dealing with an Aries. Could um, maybe an Aries Taurus cusp or someone with... Um, with uh, Aries in their chart, but also could be a water sign, Pisces, um, Scorpio, Cancer, or potentially an air sign here with the with the swords. Um, okay, so this is this is positive actually. This is really positive. So there's some kind of virtual communication maybe with someone, and it's making you very happy could be um, catching up with people that or some or a particular person who you have not seen or heard from in a long time so there is that sort of reconciliation energy as well um, this could be you wondering whether it is time to reach out to someone that um, maybe you haven't been in communication with or you haven't seen in a while or you've been away from and you're just wondering whether it's whether it's a good time to do that. I feel as though there are very fond memories between the both of you. Both of you are thinking about each other in um, in a positive way. Um, you're wondering when when the right time is going to be to sort of to sort of kick things off and start things. You're wondering. Um, yeah, when is when is when is the right time? When is the right time? This is someone who, if if you're dealing with um, an individual, this is someone who you feel like could be um, a good counterpart, sort of an someone who you could sort of build a relationship with. Maybe something that was based in friendship, someone who you've been friends with in the past, and now you're feeling like you can come together and. Um, take things further but you're sort of wondering whether it's going to be the right time to do that and as I said for some reason I am getting the vibe of a little bit of lack of communication or maybe a period of time where you have not been communicating maybe this is someone who's just quite busy um, and so you find it difficult to get the 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 quantity of communication that you want to get from this person and you're just wondering how to go about that and maybe it's time for a slightly different strategy or maybe you're do, using different sort of communication tools to try and get through to this person or to try and build that connection but this is something that has you quite excited uh, something that you want to something that you want to grow something that has you feeling like you're ready to sort of embark on a new journey um, I'm also getting sort of winds of change so it's time to it's time to sort of either move things to the next level or get the communication going again or find a way to just mix things up and change things up um, to sort of get this this celebration this reunion happening see what else wants to wants to come out here Taurus could also be um, starting some kind of new um, new course of study education you're wanting to upskill on something maybe you're reconnecting with someone from the past who um, can help you with that 
Maybe you've set some um, new goals or resolutions for 2021 and you want to get started on, on those. Maybe it has to do with, again, with learning something new. Got the Nine of Swords here. So someone around you is feeling a little bit of anxiety, a little bit of stress for some reason. Someone, um, someone's deep in thought. Someone's up about, up at night about something. Let's see what else? What else? Okay, so. We've got more air, air energy here. So you could be dealing with an air sign or someone with air in their chart. Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. Um, with the world card here, sometimes that relates to the fixed sign. So once again, Aquarius. Um, you've got your energy there as well, Taurus, Leo, Scorpio. Um, Someone around you is wondering whether or not it is a good time to either move things forward or completely end things. And they're stressed about it. They're worried about it. It's almost like they're at a turning point. Maybe they're at some kind of fork in the road. But they're seeing this as a very significant decision that they need to make. It's something that they know is potentially going to completely alter their sort of life's dest destiny or the path they're on one way or the other. And so they're sort of in this, in this stressed out, um, anxious, up at night kind of mode at the moment because, yeah, they're just, they're just not sure about what to do. The world card is another card sometimes of, you know, things coming around again, cycles, um, you know, beginning and ending. So maybe something has started again. Like I said, there was some kind of um, either break in communication or, um, you know, something that you're wanting to get off the ground again. And this person's feeling like, wow, okay, this has this is starting again now, um, you know, Taurus has gotten in touch with me or communicated with me, or um, maybe they're thinking the same thing. They don't know whether or not they should communicate with you or they should reach out to you or not and what it means, um, whether they want to enter into the cycle again or not. They're just worried about it. But with the world card here, it's almost like an inevitability. Um, you know, change is going to come no matter what happens whether this person is ready for it or not but it's it really has them has them quite stressed out and anxious um might pull a couple more cards for clarification on that because i don't know um why they're feeling that way if or not we'll take them i don't want it to come out all together like that Okay, it's really interesting. Um, so maybe there's been, yeah, just in general, a little bit of in and out energy in this connection. It's been, sometimes it can be a little bit of a ro roller coaster as well, emotional roller coaster. It's almost like, you know, you, you get that sort of excitement when you're with each other. There's butterflies in the stomach, that sort of thing. You both feel like there could be um, something amazing, something exciting, forming. Um, you know, you feel very excited when things sort of start back up again and things get off the ground. There's maybe even talk about future. There's talk about, you know, commitments, marriage, things like that. Um, but then all of a sudden it just something like, uh, there's always some kind of a, a disappointment. This is a very, very strong connection here. We've got a lot of major arcana right above the world there. We've got judgment and the lovers. Could be dealing with a, a Gemini there. Um, again, fire energy, water energy. Yeah, so we've got Sagittarius um, or Leo, Aries, Gemini, Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio. Yeah, I feel as though this is 
this could even be some kind of a karmic connection, past life connection, um, twin flame, soulmate, something like that. It is something of significance with this person. And so that's why you two keep getting drawn towards each other. And that's why this um, could be a case of a cycle constantly repeating, constantly, you know, ending of one, beginning of, of a new cycle with this person. The fact that there is uh, there is that five of cups here for some reason you know something happens and it just ends up in in a bit of disappointment in a bit of grief grief in a bit of loss um and now it's like a question of do i do we want to continue this do we want to start this the cycle over again do we want to get to this point where you know yeah okay it's exciting again and we get happy and we feel like we've we've achieved a victory with each other but then something happens and um, we're forced to have a little bit of a wake-up call and it's not right and, and there's that sort of disappointment grief and loss and this person's anxious about that because they don't necessarily want to keep repeating that same cycle and they're wondering whether or not it's time to break it or if they enter into it again how can we change it how can we get to a point where we get a different outcome so it doesn't result in this feeling of loss, um, feeling of disappointment, sadness, grief. How do we keep our attention and our focus on each other rather than splitting again and and focusing too much on the negative? Sometimes maybe it's just this person, maybe it's you, maybe it's both of you. Someone has a tendency to just focus on the negative and they can't turn around and see the positives in the connection and the situation. And it's like, how are we going to get out of that? How are we going to break, break that cycle? It's very easy to get into these repetitive, repetitive cycles and it's, it's more challenging to break them, but it usually happens with identifying um, how that cycle starts and what's the, the trigger point for that. What is it? What is it that triggers this um, this cycle where it goes from feeling happy and victorious to then focusing on too much of of the negative? What, what is it about the the connection and the, or the interaction between you both that that creates that? How is this going to end up? The end of January, at least, you know, might continue past that. I feel like it's going to continue past January, but let's see what the overall outcome is by the end of January. Hmm, five of cups again. Five of Swords. Okay, what did I say about winds of change? We've got a lot of fives in this in this reading. Um, okay, so yeah, you are you are gonna get into this um, into this again. Unfortunately, it is gonna repeat again. It's it's almost like the two of you sometimes cycle between. You know, they're feeling upset and disappointed and then you're feeling upset and disappointed. Um, there are going to be some some more petty arguments here and maybe this is why it happens. Maybe one or both of you, and this is coming up on, on your person's side, Taurus, but I feel as though there's some kind of ego that gets in the way here and it doesn't help. It doesn't help with these, um, with these arguments and, and with these disappointments. Um, you know, see the similarities here in in the um, figure standing here in the Five of Cups card and this one who's uh, walking away in the Five of Swords card. So if this is your person, um, and again, maybe they're an air sign, Aquarius, Libra, Gem Libra, Gemini, doesn't have to be. They could have strong air somewhere in their chart. But either way, this is about, you know, words. This is this is a, a verbal exchange or a mental exchange that is that lets too much ego get in the way. And, you know, it ends up being victory at all costs. In other words, it's like someone just wants to win the argument and they're not thinking long term. They're not thinking about what the consequences of that are. 
and it ends up in just the other person being kind of disgusted, disappointed, sad, upset. It's like, it's not helpful. It's not helping anyone having these kinds of five of swords victories because it's just petty victories and it doesn't end up, it doesn't end up resulting in any, um, you know, any effective, effective change for the better. It's not like constructive criticism, for example. It's not like, you know, two people coming together and talking about what's actually upsetting them to try and get a good resolution from the future. It just ends up being one person wanting to win the argument. They win and then the other person just feels terrible about it. And I feel as though, you know, with the with that five of cups appearing on both sides here, that's really the the cycle of grief and disappointment that keeps continuing. And unfortunately, I don't see that ending by the end of January. I feel like there is still a little bit of being stuck in that cycle for the both of you. So something is going to happen again. And, you know, you're wanting sort of one outcome here with that celebration and that three of cups. But then we end up feeling that that disappointment again. But always with that five of cups energy, there is that silver lining to it because we have those two cups here. We've got those two cups. It's not like all of them are spilled. We haven't completely lost everything. We're just very focused on on the negative. If we can somehow try and turn that around, if we stop focusing so much on on what we don't have, what we're missing, what we've lost, what we've what we've fought about, what we're upset about, and we turn around and we look at what's left over and we look at the, the positive in this situation, we can maybe get to a place where we can be happy again, where we don't have to have these petty arguments, where ego doesn't have to get in the way and we don't have to have it like a constant sort of mental battle where someone ends up feeling, you know, super emotionally drained, upset. Um, you know, we, we've got to start focusing on, on the positive in this situation, I feel. Let's pull a card for advice um, or any positive affirmations that can help us break this cycle. Any other messages that Taurus needs to hear, please? Any other messages? For Taurus, any other messages? <laughs> ten of water. This is the Ten of Cups. Um, so this is exactly what um, I was just talking about. The advice on how to break this is to really focus on this positive because there is a positive there this situation is not completely negative it sometimes feels like that but with the ten of water here with the ten of cups this is telling you to be grateful for what you do have i think um and this may not be you this may be the other person this may be both of you but it's time to start focusing on the positive it's time to start focusing on happiness it's time to start focusing on what is going to give you that complete sense of emotional fulfillment. And really the ultimate message of this card, and it's quite fitting that we've got this, this imagery on here, because this is all about happiness is within, you already have it. The, the reason why we feel upset and we feel unhappy has to do with focusing on what we don't have and what we want, what we desire. But when we look within or we look at the situation from you know a more unbiased perspective, we can see that we actually do have everything we need. We do have everything we need and want to be happy. So a little bit of focus on what we have, a little bit of you know being grateful and just focusing on on the positive in the situation is what is going to to help in this i feel and can hopefully help us you know change this cycle for good and get rid of this this outcome here of the 5 of cups get rid of that and just stick with with happiness fulfillment and um 
and focusing on the positives of the situation because they are there, they do exist. And that's what keeps keeps both of you coming back to one another ultimately. So guys, I hope you enjoyed that reading. If you did, don't forget to like and subscribe. Thanks again for watching and I hope to see you all in the next video.